Welcome to my How I Fly My RV9A. Uh, today's episode will cover taxiing. Uh, there's my airplane right there. It's been flying since uh, 2012. Still needs a paint job, but maybe next year. Um, so these uh, A model RVs, they have the fleek free castering nose wheel. Uh, very similar to the one of the front wheels on a shopping cart. Um, there are there's really no control. There's no cables or anything that that go down to that wheel. It's just free castering. The way you steer is with differential braking or with air going across the huge rudder there. And uh, I'll demonstrate that for you today. So there's a stop that the plans call for that keeps that nose wheel from spinning 360. Uh, you want to put that stop in and you want to put it on the correct side. Uh, I believe the stop faces forward and that keeps that uh, big uh, nose wheel pant from getting into the arc of the propeller there. So make sure you put that in and make sure it's on the correct side and uh, you will not chop up your propeller or chop up your wheel pan. Okay, you'll see a tow bar sitting right there. Um, pushing one of these nose wheel uh, RVs backwards is uh, extremely difficult. Um, yeah, it's very tough. I mean, I've done it uh, when I go fly places. I generally don't take my tow bar, um, but it, it, as you're pushing backwards without the tow bar, you'll notice that the wheel tends to spin one way or another and not really go where you want it to go. Um, so when you back it up, like when I back up, you can see it's a pretty tight fit here in this hanger. I'll put the tow bar on. I will push here at the uh, base of the prop there and simply steer with the tow bar. Now, one thing that uh, is very noticeable on these uh, nose wheel airplanes is that just turning the nose wheel with the tow bar will cause a big movement in the tail. Um, so you got to be very, very careful when you're doing that when you're, especially in my case, I'm fitting between two airplanes. Uh, maybe I'll uh, show it to you here in a bit. But uh, anyway, pulling this airplane is a piece of cake. You don't need a tow bar. You just pull on the prop or I, right, well, this is what I do. Your mileage may vary, but I pull right there with two hands, one on either side, and just steer it and pull it and put it where I want it. I've attached the tow bar, um, and I just want to show how little movement, so I'm going to be doing this kind of movement here with the tow bar. If you look at the tail, the whole airplane's moving a lot. So, uh, got to be very careful with that. If I'm not lined up correctly, a lot of times I'll just pull it straight out and I'll just readjust and then go back in. So if you're building your RV, um, you'll notice that the uh, brake pedals, they're, they're very similar to a lot of GA aircraft. Um, if you can, if you've flown a 172 or Cherokee or I've flown a, a Ronca sedan, uh, it's very similar. You've got the uh, brakes towards the top the brake pedals towards the top of the bar and uh, and then if you move your feet down towards the bottom of the bar you will not be touching brakes. What I prefer to do on takeoff is uh, move my feet down low. Uh, we're not talking about takeoff on this video, we're talking about taxiing and uh, when I'm taxiing I generally have my feet up high on the pedals uh, so I can reach uh, the brake pedals. Okay we got hotel. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and taxi I'm going to simply release the brakes and I actually move my feet further down right now and I pop them up occasionally to straighten it out. So you can see that we uh, were initially going to go left and I had to hit the right brake. Now this rudder is so big that even at this speed I'm not touching the brake and you can see we are steering. So it's pretty simple. Let's take it up to the end here, and a stop. Obviously, you're going to press both brakes. Brake pedals. 
Okay, so I'm uh, I've now got my feet low on the pedals. I am not touching the brake, neither brake, and I can steer. Now, when I taxi at a thousand, which is what Lycoming recommends, you end up going too fast. So occasionally I'll move them up, like now. Oh, there goes an RV. Ten, and uh, I will tap it, tap them, slow down a little bit, and then let it speed up a little bit. Okay, so uh, pretty easy to taxi. Now, we're going to come down here to the run-up area. Now, this thing, these things, these RVs, nose wheel, they turn on a dime. In fact, they turn a smaller circle than the tail dragger version is what I understand. So, I'll show you that. Okay, we want this spot here, and I'm going to lock up just the left brake here in a second. And here we go. Let's spin her around. And it pirouettes on a dime. And I'm going to go ahead and taxi just a little bit forward and stop. Just to straighten out that nose wheel. I've actually had uh, comments from people um, on how, you know, tight this airplane turns uh, on the ground. So, anyway, that's your quick lesson on um, taxiing with the RV-9A. Hope you enjoyed it.